What's up, everybody? Welcome back to QC Comics with, well, not really an action figure unboxing, but something a little different. I got these world collectible figures from Ben Presto. Uh, they are the Dragon Ball GT selection of them. Uh, I believe there is 24 from this particular line. And I have number 21. <laughs> Forgot where the numbers were on there. And 22. And I spotted these at my local Barnes & Noble. I'm a huge Dragon Ball GT fan. I love Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And I love Nova Shenron. So I was really happy to see these. If you look at the boxes here, you can kind of see what's from this wave. And usually the Barnes & Noble gets four in at a time. It's weird. I don't know why. But I've always seen Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball or Super. It's always been in, in stacks of four. They seem to stock them in. And... I'm kind of thinking, since there was only two there, I doubt these two sold, <laughs> if it was these four, and not Nova Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So I'm thinking it was probably these two that sold before I got there, which is a bummer, because I would love to have that Omega Shenron, and even the, the kid GT Goku. But it is what it is. I got these two, and I'm super happy with them. Oh. Uh, I, I pre-cut the tape so I could just go boop, 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 and then I didn't realize there's tape on the sides. That's fine. I'm not keeping the boxes. Whatever. You can bear with me as I struggle. <laughs> but uh, this one here in particular, I was really excited for because, especially if you like GT at all, um, there just isn't a lot of... Uh, I mean, there's a fair amount of Super Saiyan 4 merchandise these days, but when it comes to especially the villains, <laughs> outside of, I should probably get my scissors down. <laughs> this is, uh, ugh. yeah, anyway, but when it comes to the, uh, the villains, there's just, there's not a big selection of merchandise. So, uh, this guy's kind of frail too. And I just sent him flying. I should be more careful. But anyway, these come with just, they're just little figures. I think they're like three inches tall. You get a little stand with them and then you get a, just a little, a little peg here to pop them up. And I'll kind of push that in, make it a little tighter, but yeah. So there is Nova Shenron, and this is after he sheds his, he, when he first appears, he's all red. And here he's broken into what he says is ultimate fighting form, which is more of a gold, but I actually think I like this better than the red. I mean, the, the, the red makes sense because he's, you know, he's got the, the heat of the sun he uses. So he's, he's spitting what's essentially, <laughs> you know, blasts that are, that are pure concentrated 6,000 degree temperature, you know, beams at Goku and others. But, you know, so the red kind of fits, but I like this gold. It looks slick. It looks good. Yeah. Like that guy a lot. Happy to have it. I might, oh. Spin that around a little bit. Oh, I got to be careful. I don't want to break these. <laughs> Seriously. I actually looked on eBay when I was standing there going, oh, man, I should buy these. But I was like, ah, you know, what's the price of these online? That's always my determining factor. Like, oh, if, I, if I don't get it now, is the price going to, like, skyrocket on me? And, uh, yeah, on eBay, they're actually, like, this Goku is, like, 35 bucks, the average price. So I was like, well... I'm going to go ahead and, and pick that up in store because, you know, if I get home and then somebody else buys it and then I'm regretting it and then I go, oh, okay, I'll go online and look for it. I really don't want to pay that much of a markup. That's just crazy. But a lot of it comes from, I think it was like Japan and Taiwan. And so even then, even if you don't mind the price that you're paying, you're still probably going to wait a long time for shipping. So, but anyway, I'm wondering if now they've got more GT, uh, these world collectible figures on order. So I'm going to have to keep checking back like every other day because I, like I said, I really want that Shenron. Um, and there's just a bunch others. Uh, if there's the, uh, or the Omega Shenron, if there's the Ice Shenron, I want that. Uh, Super Android 17, I definitely want that. So anyway, pop the Goku out here. 
And the detail on these is pretty good for these small figures. And they do they do have that kind of style where the head's you know bigger than the body. Although not necessarily on him. It, it almost looks proportional. Nah, not really, I guess. But yeah. So there's good texture on it. Like I said, the sculpt work is pretty impressive for something this small. It feels like this one feels a little bit more flimsy because it's, you know, it's thinner limbs and the wings are thin. But this has got some good weight to it and some good heft. And Super Saiyan 4 is, I think, by far my favorite Super Saiyan transformation. And I know that's probably... It seems like a more popular opinion these days than it used to be. But it used to definitely be like everybody hated GT. And I think it's it's looked back on a little more fondly these days. But yeah, I've always loved it. I'm not ashamed to say it. I love Dragon Ball GT. And happy to have this. So I'm going to wrap up this video and give my final thoughts. Okay, so that about wraps up my kind of review unbox of these world collectible figures from Van Presto from the Dragon Ball GT line. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is number 22 and Nova Shenron is number 21. And I definitely recommend them. If you like something a little smaller to put on your shelf and kind of accessorize maybe your, your Dragon Ball display or you just want something for your work desk or really anywhere. I mean, they're small enough to put anywhere. The detail's great. They feel good in your hand. Um, so he's really looking down. I wish I could kind of get him up. But yeah, I definitely recommend them. I would not recommend paying uh, some of those eBay prices. I, I didn't really see any on Amazon. Some sites have them, but it's uh, a blind box purchase where you don't necessarily know what figure you're going to get. So if you see one in store that you like and you like that character, I definitely recommend picking it up. They're $8.99. You could argue that maybe they should be a little bit cheaper for the size. However, I think they're great, and and definitely you don't want to wind up getting stuck paying the aftermarket prices, eBay prices, or having to go blind box and maybe getting multiples before you finally get the one that you want. So definitely recommend it. I love them. I'm adding them to my Dragon Ball shelf, and I'm a GT fan, and I'm not ashamed to say it. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and I will definitely be on the lookout for more cool stuff like this. Hopefully, I find some more of these at my local Barnes & Noble. I will keep checking back, and if I find any more, I'll post them. Thank you very much. Take care. We'll see you next time.